What's going on, YouTubers? This is Marco Matic. I'm going to keep this video short and brief. I'm going to tell you the reason why iPhone Xs are going to be discontinued um, before the end of this year and what they could have done to prevent this from happening. So let's get it started. The main reason why the iPhone Xs have been discontinued is primarily because Apple has came out and said that the iPhone Xs aren't selling as what they predicted. Um, and there is not a high demand for it pretty much plain and simple that yeah, people are not buying the iPhone Nexus like every like uh, Apple thinking that they were like you bring out the most expensive iPhone ever um, out on the market when you know that most of your users prefer the cheaper iPhone now I work at wall I work um, inside of Walmart um, but I don't work for Walmart I'm a third party so I see a lot of stuff in retail world, okay? And then I've noticed there are a lot more people that are willing to spend $200 on the iPhone 6 with straight talk, which I call straight trash service, than to get an iPhone 8 on AT&T for pretty much $21 a month. So with that being said, economy has gone crazy um, we live in a world now where people prefer to have the cheaper smartphone and the most expensive iPhone is not going to attract a lot of people to buy it so that's probably that's one of the main that's, those are the main reasons that are being discontinued now let me tell you what Apple could have done to prevent this from happening um, what could what they could have done mostly is launched the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and the iPhone X at the same time. It's it's erroneous that they released it a month after the iPhone 8, 8 Plus was released. And that's why the 8, 8 Plus had a strong sales compared to the iPhone X. And mostly, all the iPhone Xs were already back-ordered when people had it available to pre-order some of them were lucky enough to get it on the day it came out i know some people didn't get the iphone x's until december the 15th or or longer um and they're pretty much saying not only is the phone coming out on you know november the 3rd but you're not going to be able to get get your hands on this until december the 15th so not only did they make you not make you wait an extra month to even pre-order it, but they're gonna make you wait another month and a half to get it. And that's bad for business, Apple. That's a that's a bad Apple, uh, what Apple Bite would say. So pretty much they making you a guarantee that you're gonna get the phone and then they do and then they'll produce it and ship it. That's just not right. Now, when I bought my Google Pixel 2 XL, it was at my doorstep on the day it came out. And I've had the Pixel 2 XL ever since. It's a great phone. And it's not a $1,000 phone. And it does everything I need it to do. And it, it's perfect. Like for what Google puts in their Pixel 2 XL, they've done a lot more than what the iPhone did. And not to mention it has the best smartphone camera out there. You think for a thousand dollar phone, you have the best camera, you have the best battery, you have a little bit of the best everything. No, the only thing that thousand dollar iPhone would do to you that, that they consider best is the best display on any iPhone ever. I do agree with that. It is one of the fastest um, processing iPhones ever. I do give them that. But that's pretty much it. Everything else went down in the water. I mean, water resistance, that's the new modern day of uh, smartphones now. All of them should be water resistant now. Everybody is in the game for that. No no home button. No headphone jack. That that's that was that was kind of one of those things to where Samsung and even the Pixel 2 XL has an integrated home button and side button built into the screen. Apple could have easily done that. No fingerprint sensor anywhere on the iPhone. They were allowing you to lock the phone with your face. 
it was already a huge turnoff for most people when they did the presentation and even the people from Apple couldn't even get the facial ID right. So with that, I'm not knocking off Apple, okay? Because I do, I'm, I'm, I'm on the MacBook right now doing this video. And, you know, I do buy Apple products as well, too. Like, I'm not biased. I'll buy a product if it's a good product, no matter what brand it is. But that's just downright stupid. Um, and I was stupid enough to think that, you know, maybe maybe there's a silver lining with Apple. So I actually, uh, pre I actually got one and tested out for a week. And, you know, I'm holding it. It's like, it feels like a premium phone and everything, but... Compared to the iPhone 8, really just didn't give me a lot to go with. Like, it's the iPhone 8 is cheaper and it does mostly everything that the iPhone X already do. So, already does. Sorry. So, that with that being said, that's one that's primarily the reason why um, the iPhones flopped. And a lot of Android fans is going to be looking at this video and be like, well, that's why we never, that's, that's why we, we go with Android. But, you know, um, I can, I'm going to do another video on another day about Android, but we all have our flaws, but Android has gotten better every year and to the point where, you know, Apple should be concerned for the future of, of iPhones because Samsung and Google are coming and they're coming strong, but that's all I got to say, um, about it. Um, you know. If you have any questions or any comments that you want uh, to talk about, uh, feel free to do it below. Like this video and subscribe to me. Um, it's your boy Marco Matic. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Have fun. Be safe. Peace out.